Hello my scholars, welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra and in this video we are going to be tackling the government pass question year 2022. So please stay with us, don't go anywhere and I'll be right back. to my school channel so in this video we're going to be tackling question 1 to 20 okay so let's proceed with question 1 the highest authority in the Yoruba pre-colonial area was the dash A Oboni B Oba C Oyoma C D Balogo the answer to this question is B Oba so Oba is regarded as the highest authority in the Yoruba pre-colonial era and specifically we're talking about the old Oyo empire okay so he's the political and spiritual head of the Oyo empire popularly known as the Alafi of Oyo so after him we have the Oyo Messi which are the king makers they are majorly made up of chiefs and then we talk about the Oboni which is the secret cult okay so the answer to this question is option B Oba number two the philosophy behind Nigerian federalism is dash. Option A, unity in diversity. Option B, sectional development. Option C, review of sectionalism. Option D, colonial rule. The answer to this question is unity in diversity. Nigeria is a country made up of several ethnic groups, and we know that our founding fathers opted for federalism despite this diversity. And we can also trace Nigerian federalism to Lord Lugard when he amalgamated the Northern and Southern Protectorate in 1914. So the philosophy behind Nigerian federalism is the fact that there is unity despite the diversity. So the answer to this question is option A. Question three. One of the constitutional requirements for the registration of political parties in Nigeria is dash. Option A, provision for review of party manifesto. Option B, offices in at least 12 states. Option C, membership from at least 12 states. Option D, national presence in the federal capital territory. So the answer to this question is option D, national presence in the federal capital territory. There are so many requirements for the registration of political parties in Nigeria, one of which is that the headquarters should be in the federal capital territory, which is Abuja. Another one is that it, it should have office in at least 24 states. But here we see 12 states. So the answer to this question is option D. Question four, the Security Council of the United Nations organization as dash okay so a five permanent members b seven permanent members c four permanent members the three permanent members the answer to this question is a five permanent members the security council of the united nation organization is made up of 15 members five permanent 10 non-permanent members okay so the five permanent members consist of china france russia uk which is united kingdom and usa Okay, so the answer to this question is option A. Question 5. The oversight function is performed by the DASH. A, judiciary, option B, executive, C, court, option D, legislature. The answer to this question is legislature. So the oversight function gives the legislature the opportunity to inspect, review, and check the activities of the executive branch, okay, to ensure that there is accountability, there's transparency, and responsiveness. So the answer to this question is option D, legislature. Question six. Before the emergence of OAU as a regional body, Nigeria belonged to DASH. Option A, Casablanca Group. Option B, Monrovia Group. Option C, Casablanca slash Brazzaville Group. Option D, Brazzaville Group. The answer to this question is option B, Monrovia Group. So Monrovia was formed in year 1961, specifically the month of May, and it consists or was composed of Nigeria, Ethiopia, Egypt, Libya, Liberia, and so on. They are about eight in number. And it was based on Pan-Africanism. So they believe that Nigerians should cooperate, African independent states rather, should cooperate, come together, and exist in harmony. So the answer to this question is option B, Monrovia Group. Question seven. The political rights of a citizen include the dash. 
Option A, freedom of speech. Option B, right to um, employment. Option C, right to vote. Option D, right to life. The answer to this question is right to vote. All of this can be regarded as rights, an individual right or a citizen right. There are two types. We have the civil right and the political right. While we classify freedom of speech, right to employment and right to life as civil rights because they protect individual from maybe government policy or another individual, political rights are rights that give us the opportunity to partake in government or government politics or to be involved in politics, okay, which include the right to vote, the right to be voted for, and all of that. So the answer to this question is option C, right to vote. Do not forget that you can take practice questions with our jam simulated CBT past questions. All you need to do is you click on the link in the description below, which takes you to the My School website. There you have to download My School mobile app for your Android phones and My School software for your computers and laptops. Please go ahead and download and start practicing these questions. Now moving on to question 8. One of the features of rule of law is that and dash. A. Offender is a deterrent. Option B. Accused is a culprit before trial. Option C. Accused must receive fair hearing. Option D. Accused is an offender. The answer to this question is option C. Accused must receive fair hearing. Now, who is an accused? An accused is a person charged with a crime. And the rule of law is that principle that emphasizes that all people and institutions are subjected to the law. They are accountable to the law. So this means that nobody is above the law. Okay, so what do we mean by fair hearing? Fair hearing is listening to both sides of a statement or argument concerning an issue. So rule of law emphasizes that everybody needs to be heard. Everybody deserves to be heard and everybody should table their argument and that is when we consider the issue. So the answer to this question is option C, accused must receive fair hearing. If you're enjoying this content, do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Please click on the like button, hit the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get notified as soon as we release the next videos. Question 9. The first legislative council in Nigeria was established by Dash, A. Clifford Constitution, Option B, Richard's Constitution. Option C, McPherson Constitution. Option D, Littleton Constitution. The answer to this question is Clifford Constitution. Now, let's consider the years, the years in which they were established. So, for Clifford, it was 1922. For Richard, it was 1946. McPherson was 1951. And Littleton was 1954. So, definitely, Clifford comes first. And therefore, option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 10, an electoral system in which the winner must secure more than 15% of the votes is described as A slash and dash. Option A, plurality system. Option B, proportional representation. Option C, an absolute majority. Option D, electoral obligation. The answer to this question is an absolute majority. Now, what is an absolute majority? This is a, this is a case in which a person or a candidate or political party wins more than half of the total vote in an election. So the answer to this question is option C, an absolute majority. Question 11. A group of people with different natures, opinion and goals with complicated network of social relation is dash. Option A, a union. Option B, an association. Option C, a society. Option D, a state. The answer to this question is a society. Now, when we talk about society, a society is a wider term than a state, is a broad concept than a state. A state recognizes a group of people living in a territory with government, a form of government, right? But for a society, it emphasizes so many social relationships such as family, work, religion, industrial activities, agriculture, education, so many complicated relationships. And this cannot be expressed through the government. A state, on the other hand, emphasizes social relationships that have to do with the government or can be expressed through the government. For example, the family cannot be expressed by the government. Okay, So state is concerned with the social relationship that can be expressed through the government. But society is a very complicated group of people, a very complicated gathering, a very complicated social relation. Okay, It involves a lot of people with different ideas, different way of thinking and behaving, and that is what society is. So option C is the correct answer to this question. 
Question 12. A political system built around land ownership is called Dash. Option A, monarchy. Option B, fascism. Option C, feudalism. Option D, communalism. The answer to this question is feudalism. Feudalism is the allocation of landed property with sovereignty. So you only land, you have power. And this is usually the king and the queen. So this is a system of government based on land ownership. When we talk about monarchy, monarchy is a system of government in which the king or queen rules. Fascism is headed by a dictator, a system of government headed by a dictator. And communalism is a system of government in which natural resources are collectively owned and nest by the community for the good of everyone. So the answer to this question is option C, feudalism. Question 13. A one-party system helps to prevent dash. Option A, quick decision. B, strong leadership. C, stable leadership. D, economic waste. The answer to this question is economic waste. Okay, so a one-party system is a system that recognizes one party. Okay, and this helps to prevent economic waste. It prevents waste of resources. So imagine an election where you have one party. The financial burden will be minimal while conducting election. As opposed to a multi-party system where you have so many party systems, you see that there will be a lot of waste. There will be a lot of waste in resources, a lot of financial burden during election. So the answer to this question is option D. Question 14. The French colonial policy aimed at changing Africans into freshmen was the policy of Dash. Option A, assimilation. Option B, accommodation. Option C, communes. Option D, association. The answer to this question is assimilation. The French policy of assimilation was aimed at spreading the French culture to French colonies. So Nigeria was once a French colony. The answer to this question, therefore, is option A. Question 15. A system of government in which a single person or a group who governs as unlimited power is a dash. The answer to this question is autocracy. For autocracy, power is held by a single person. That means the power of the state is concentrated in the hand of a single person. So therefore, option D is the correct answer to this question. However, for aristocracy, it is held by the noble or nobility. For option B, it is held by the people, in which the people have the right to choose their representative. And for oligarchy, it is held by a few. So the answer to this question is option D, autocracy. Question 16. The Judicial Service Commission is vested with the power to recommend suitable persons for appointment of the DASH. A. National Judicial Council. Option B. President, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Option C. President of the Senate. Option D. Chief Justice of Nigeria. The answer to this question is option D. The Chief Justice of Nigeria. So they also make recommendation for the appointment of other orders, other office orders such as the Justice of the Supreme Court. We also have the, the President of the Court of Appeal. They can also recommend the um, Chief Judge of the Federal High Court and several other um, personnel. Okay, so the answer to this question is option D. Question 17. A policy formulated to guide relations with other nations is called DASH. Option A, international policy. Option B, state policy. Option C, national policy. Option D, foreign policy. The answer to this question is option D, foreign policy. Now, what is foreign policy? Foreign policy is the decision or action taken by a state in the pursuit of our interest within the global system. Okay, so when a country decides to define or plan their foreign policy, they consider several things. They consider national interest and they want to make sure that they are not trespassing in trying to get their interest. They are, not, they are not doing anything against the interest of another country. Okay, so foreign policy, therefore, is formulated to guide the relation with other countries or with other nations. Okay, so the answer to this question is option D, foreign policy. Do you have questions you would like to ask? You can ask your questions by using the link provided in the description below. All you need to do is you click on the link in the description below. It takes you to the My School website. There you can ask as many questions as possible and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now moving on to question 18. A major consequence of the privatization exercise in Nigeria is DASH. 
A, the collapse of the Nigerian economy, option B, reduction in foreign exchange, option C, high rates of indebtedness, option D, mass retrenchment of labor. The answer to this question is option D. When we think of privatization, we think of companies owned by a private individual, right? So, the sole aim of privatization is to make profits, it's profit making, and because of that, they try to reduce costs, spending. And one way to reduce spending is to uh, retrench um, workers. Okay, so there's always a mass retrenchment of labor. So the answer to this question is option D. Do you have better steps, explanation, or solutions to any of these questions? Please feel free to indicate. Indicate the question number and the solutions you'd like to share in the comment section below. Question 19. The highest body which performed legislative function under Babangida regime was Dash. Option A, the National Council of State. Option B, the Council of Ministers. Option C, Armed Forces Ruling Council. Option D, the Council of Ministers. The answer to this question is Option C, Armed Forces Ruling Council, which was established in the year 1985 following the coup that, uh, that introduced Ibrahim Babangida. So prior to that, before that, we, what we had was the Supreme Military Council, which was established in the year 1966. So the answer to this question is definitely option C. Question 20. The aim of the International Labour Organization includes dash, option A, assistance in time of emergencies, option B, safeguarding the rights of individuals, option C, advancing social and economic justice, option D, coordinating the activities of organized agencies. The answer to this question is option C, the mandate of ILO, which is International Labour Organization, is to advance the social and economic justice by setting international labour standards. And it was formed in the year 1919, precisely October. So the answer to this question is option C. We've come to the end of this wonderful segment. I believe it was impactful. I'm sure you've learned a lot. Please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.